So this one's a little bit different. Let me just kind of show you what I'm talking about in stupid drawings. It's a game of sorts. So the name of the game is that it's me against Zach. Big Drippin' against Zach. You already know how it is. So we both have three challenges. If someone doesn't, oh, I don't know, complete a challenge like you see here, well, then they're kind of the loser, meaning, I mean, if you couldn't tell, you know, by the big blue text saying loser, and whoever loses is forced to do something that they really don't want to do, but they kind of agreed to be here, so it's really not their problem. So let's go and start. Challenge number one. Pretty much all I have to do is go into a Dollar Tree and buy a pregnancy test. Once I do, I have to go to the cashier and say the line. If this comes back positive, I'll be back for a coat hanger. Because I love killing babies. Roll the footage. We get in the pregnancy test. But that one says actual pregnancy. <laughs> I can't believe I actually don't do that. I'll get you over here on three. Three? All right. How are you doing? Good. Not bad? No. Thank you. This comes back positive. We're back for a coat hanger. For a what? We're back for a coat hanger that comes back positive. Okay, you do that. But I wasn't done there. As if me saying, I'm gonna go kill a baby real quickly wasn't bad enough, I came back 30 minutes later and actually bought a pack of coat hangers. I'm sorry. I got there and it was a different cashier, but I guess that she told him about the incident because he didn't say a word to me, even like, tell him my total was a dollar eight. Like, he just looked at me. You'll see in the clip. All right, we're going back to get my coat hanger. So, you know, let's go. Coat hanger, coat hanger, where are you? Can't find the coat hangers, but there gotta be in here somewhere. Hanger. Here you might be wondering to yourself, why did you include that stupid clip of just some random SUV? <laughs> Calm down. That was the initial cashier lady in the SUV, and she gave me a thumbs up and smiled. She likes killing babies too. Now, I know there's a lot of disrespect in this video. I don't condone that. But I'm allowed to, because I'm making the video. So remember that stupid uh, trend about the whole, uh, Hey yo, can I get a Travis Scott burger? So this is Zach's dare. He has to go to a McDonald's and ask for a Juice World burger. Remember that rapper? Yeah. Yeah. And then whenever they obviously say, Yeah, we don't got that. He's got to stick an ice cream cone onto the car window as a classic YouTube callback to whenever people thought that was the funniest thing on the planet. Just roll the clip. <laughs> Hello, can I get the Juice World Burger? I'm sorry? The Juice World Burger? Oh, shit. One more time, what burger? The Juice World Burger? Uh, give me one second. Okay. Uh, we don't carry that. And... Okay, uh, can I get just an ice cream cone? Is that all for you? That'll be it. Thank you. Ah, uh. <laughs> we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dude didn't even see it, man. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't really get the cashier's reaction because I think they knew what we were up to when we said, I'll just take an ice cream cone, and they immediately closed the window and turned around. I have to spread my grandpa's ashes in a Walmart parking lot. Except I didn't really do it in the parking lot, I did it out front and center. You'll see. So here we're gonna go ahead and spill my grandpa's ashes up by the uh, vending machine. So wish me luck. Sorry, grandpa. It was always your favorite spot. I'll miss you, man. You were a great guy. You know, you always put everyone before yourself. I really miss you, man. You know? I remember that time we were going to the movie theater. <laughs> I 
Let's ever go in the movie theater. You just kept yelling profanities at the usher. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> So I felt kind of bad about doing that one after I did it because not because you know it's me burying my grandpa on a Walmart because you can see the lady next to me was like about to cry because she thought it was real. We didn't tell anybody that we were just joking around. We wanted people to believe it. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. I think it's funnier if they go home and kind of tell their family, yeah, I saw a kid burying his grandpa on a Walmart today. So for Zach's next dare, he has to buy eggs. Whenever he's at the cashier or the, the register, he's got to put the eggs in a bag with the carton, like take them out and spill them and crush them in the bag while staring at the lady. Or the guy, whoever it was. I couldn't really get a good angle for this because I got, you know, stuck behind a guy in the line. But I'll try to show as much as I can, but just know that he did crush the eggs in the bag. Okay, so what I'm about to do is get a carton of eggs. And I'm going to go to pay for them. And what's, I'm just going to dump them all in the bag. And then put the carton separately so that we really confuse the workers. That's basically what we're doing. It's just putting egg bags in the egg. And when I'm walking out, crushing them with my hands. Again, I'm sorry you couldn't really see it, but he he crushed the egg. So for this next one, it's really simple, but it's enough to make some people look at you and go, what is wrong with you? So essentially all I'm doing is going to the lawn and garden section and just kind of bopping out to the Christmas music. It's the Christmas spirit. Why not dance to some random people in Walmart and have them stare? Actually, now that I think about it, that's a terrible idea. Roll the clip. <laughs> He good? <laughs> well, that looked pretty stupid. The last dare was have, uh, it was me and Zach, we were gonna go into a come and go and just ask for as many ketchup packets as possible. I don't have the footage for that anymore. I guess my phone just said, no, can't have it. But I do have the after footage of us um, finding a mysterious discovery on said packet. So I'll leave you with that and we should be good here. Here, give me a different one. I wanna know. Oh. Like oh. oh, they are. Just have the whole clump. Why are they stick? I don't know. I <laughs> That's probably, that's probably why they're not selling them right now. Alright, let's see. Alright. Yeah, there's like something whole... Oh boy. What? Um, throw these out. <laughs> there's a booger on them. You kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. That's that's some COVID shit. We right got there. booger packets. Oh my lord. All right. Well, that was good. It was holding them all together, like six of them. Oh, I'm not. This isn't plugged in. We'll go acapella. <laughs> that was a stupid joke. That was all of it. If you want to see something like this again, let me know. Because I'd be willing to. This was a this was a pretty fun project. I love embarrassing myself in public. I don't know about y'all. Well, that's the whole video. So uh, if you made it this far.